You guys, we are going to Italy. I am so excited. You guys are coming along with me. You already know I'm going to be vlogging absolutely everything. So if you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. And the thing that we have for today's video is I need to pack everything in just a carry-on. We are going for eight full days, but it's going to be 10 days altogether because we have two travel days. It is like an eight and a half hour flight there and back. So we're going for 10 days. This is going to be a pack with me video. I am going to show you guys everything that I'm going to bring. I'm going to try everything on and then how I pack it up. So without further ado, let's get packing. I don't want anybody coming for me in the comments because my luggage is on my bed. It was sanitized, so we're good to go. Don't you worry, but this is my luggage i'm gonna put it here i think you guys can see i'm gonna try on the outfits see kind of what we have to work with hopefully this video isn't too long but this is what we are starting out with this luggage is from walmart i actually got it online in case anybody likes it or wants it i do have some random little packing stuff in here already to make life a little bit easier with packing so i'm just gonna take them out for now and then I will talk more about them later on. I am also bringing a personal item, but I will explain that later. It's going to be completely empty because I want to bring back stuff from there. Let's just start trying on clothes and I'll show you what outfits I'm going to bring. Outfit number one, we are starting off pretty strong with this romper that actually looks like a dress. The outside is a dress and then it has little built-in shorts on the inside. So it is a romper. Very, very comfortable. I got this from Garage and I just think it's so cute for walking all day and it is super comfortable, lightweight, which is exactly what I need. And then the back is open back, which is nice. Again, you don't want to wear things that are too heavy because apparently it is super hot outside. So this is definitely coming along with me. And then to go with this, pasties. These are my favorite pasties. They are from Lovelet. I have a pair on right now and then I always like to bring an extra pair. So I will also include that. Next up, we have like this long like maxi kind of midi dress. It doesn't go to the floor. It just goes a little bit above my ankle. I love the back detailing. This is from Dynamite. I'm thinking this for like an evening kind of dinner with my man just to take like cute pictures in. The yellow is a little bit outside my comfort zone. Not gonna lie. It's not something I would typically like lean towards, but I do love it. It's like a ribbed material on the outside. It's an extra small, but it's pretty big, which is nice because I need the room because your girl's gonna be eating a lot. So I do want to pack this one. Next up, we have this dress which i really like this one because you tie the straps i need to tie them a bit tighter honestly i didn't do a really good job at it because i'm trying to do this quick but as you can see it's a short little dress it does go above my knee this one is not a romper it's a dress so i will have to wear shorts underneath but again open back detailing this was from urban planet and honestly it was like 15 dollars but you can't even tell green again is outside my comfort zone but i do want to wear like fun vibrant colors like imagine this in like i don't know like florence maybe when we spend the day in Florence I can wear this or when we go to Bologna I can wear this so I don't know next up we have this romper which I think honestly I'm probably just gonna return it when I get home I'm not gonna bring it on the trip with me I just feel like it's a little too opened for my liking and I prefer the other dress more like this green dress over this and I also feel like the shorts ride up too much which is kind of weird because it is again from garage extra small which was the size that I had the other romper like dress in open back and everything but i just feel like i i don't know i don't love this one i'm a maybe right now on this one let's try on the next one this is the next one again for like an evening kind of outfit the sleeves are a little bit bigger um i'm gonna see if i can get it to the tailor and give it to them and maybe they can sew it within 24 hours because we're leaving super super soon but this dress is from dynamite probably gonna be hot there but I really like this. It's cute. I like the front detailing also that it has like cinches you in and then at the back as well and it does have a zipper over here to make it easy to go up and on which I really like. Another long sleeve outfit again for like a date night or if it is a little bit colder one of the nights but I just need a plain black staple kind of outfit so i went for this one i think this is from fashion nova about like two three years ago maybe it's very very comfortable very lightweight absolutely love it it does have a collar kind of detail so it does look a little bit more kind of dressy than it really is so had to bring this along it is pretty short though i didn't realize that before but 
it is pretty short so i am gonna have to wear shorts underneath i think the lululemon align high rise four inch aligns are the ones that i'm gonna bring on this trip just so i can wear it under all the dresses that don't have shorts i think my hair is starting to get crazy but next outfit this top is from aritzia and these super flowy comfortable lightweight shorts are from h&m love this aritzia top it is ribbed it is a newer one that i just got during their clientele sale absolutely love it so i figured a black top with different bottoms would be nice so i am also planning on bringing this lululemon court arrival skirt as well and so that way i have the shorts and then i also have the skirt which i kind of like the outfit with the skirt a little bit more and again they do have shorts underneath with pockets which could come in handy because i just put my phone in there and then just go about my day being hands free next up we have this dress which this is the exact same like romper dress as the very first one i tried on just plain white again this is from garage has the shorts at the bottom and then this is the back of the dress my dog is under there if you hear him tipping tapping moving around that is my lovely dog this is the next outfit and honestly i'm looking at my suitcase and i am just like i thought i was packing light and here i am now looking at the suitcase being like oh my gosh i think i'm over packing but i don't know i'm trying to pack light we're gonna have to see once i start rolling everything and putting it together which i will show you guys in a little bit but you need a plain white dress for italy in my opinion this one is actually going to be worn when we go to the vatican because you have to cover up your shoulders and then you also have to cover up your knees which this is pretty long but it does have a cute little slit with it, it does give it like that cute effect without being you know too showy and abiding by the rules that the vatican has set where again you have to cover your shoulders and then your knees cannot be showing i've seen a lot of girls get either turned down or they have to buy like a scarf to cover up or wrap something around their legs so this i feel like is going to be nice you can't really see it but trust me like my knees are over here and it is just a little bit under there with the nice little slit kind of at the back so hopefully this is good i feel like it would be fine this is like the most covered kind of dress i have i have a lot of dresses that are either long like the other one i showed you that was yellow that covered the knees but didn't cover the shoulders or vice versa covers my shoulders but doesn't cover my knees so this is actually from timu it was like ten dollars very affordable i know i said i'm already overpacking. i think i need to bring this blue dress as well this is from halara i have this in like three four other colors but i'm obsessed it is also a romper so it does have shorts and pockets and they have a new and improved version that has like a little slit over here so it's easy to go on and off when you go to the bathroom but this is the older version so it doesn't have it but it does have a built-in like sports bra with padding which is great and then the back detailing again this is super easy to put on and off yourself so i love that and it's just very stretchy very comfy and i think I need to bring this what do you guys think before i switch you guys over to a different angle showing you guys how i pack everything and make everything fit this is going to be my personal item you know how you guys can bring the luggage and then a personal item on top of that a backpack a duffel bag anything like that this is going to be mine which if you don't know this bag you're probably like what's how why would you waste that as a personal item well i'm bringing it from canada to italy like this but from italy to canada i plan to bring it absolutely stuffed great bag because there is no structure to it you can stuff and fit so much in here it is absolutely great and then it looks like this and it's like a nice tote bag so that you can just put it on top of your roller and then this put it on the handle so it doesn't fall out like that although i do have this bay's weekender bag the mini one that my boyfriend's sister gifted us for christmas we both each got one actually i am gonna go with the other one since i want to bring it completely empty and just stuff it into my carry-on so i don't have to worry about too many things when i'm at the airport i am also gonna bring my black lululemon belt bag to carry like passports my phone everything that i need right then and there so it's very easy i don't have to go through a bunch of things to look for it but i wish i could bring this but it's just not practical for me right now as my mission is to pack as light as possible as empty as possible i think those are all the outfits that i'm set on bringing and then for shoes i'm going to bring sandals my lululemon white sneakers and and here's just a little montage of all the outfits that i'm bringing not tried on in case you guys wanted a visual of that i feel like i'm overpacking a little but also underpacking i just hope i have enough space and room for things to buy there but these packing cubes are so good they're from lululemon and you can see that i'm making it smaller they're like compressive which is amazing so all my outfits did fit in there and then i just put the other stuff beside it and this is mostly electronics that i'm packing and my white sneakers obviously and then i packed an extra packing cube in case 
All right, guys, that is everything for today's video. I have here my little puppy. He's always on the floor chilling when I film. I'm gonna miss him so much. I don't wanna make this video too long or I will start to cry because I'm gonna miss him so, so, so much. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for packing with me. And next couple of videos are gonna be a couple hauls while I get situated in Italy and start making content for you guys. But the Italy vlogs are coming. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.